This is a drought update from the National Weather Service office in Phoenix in early April 2022. I'm meteorologist Jared Heil. This is the drought monitor across the western half of the nation. You can see the drought continues in earnest and it is becoming particularly intense across the southern plains and sections of Nevada and California. All around us in Arizona, we have either abnormally dry and or moderate drought conditions in most cases because of what has been a dry stretch. This is a long-term drought in addition to the fact that we've seen below normal precipitation for the last several months. The tendencies for the upcoming spring season in terms of the precipitation amounts is for below normal precip in the short term. So what that means is a persistence of the drought and or development of drought conditions across the southwestern part of the country. So not any good news on that front as we look forward in time here over the next 90 days or so. Now this is the precipitation percentage of normal since October 1st when the water year begins in the Colorado Basin. Notice for Arizona, southern Utah, southeastern Nevada, we are seeing below normal precipitation totals. In Phoenix, it's about 50% of average. Yuma, about 25% of average since October 1st, 2021. Some areas in green and blue across northeastern Utah, northwestern Colorado, uh, those are areas that have seen somewhat more precipitation this winter season. It will help with the reservoir levels along the Colorado Valley, but not enough to really ding what is otherwise a very long-term drought situation. It would take much more precip than that to break that drought and raise those lake levels significantly. Here's another piece of the puzzle. Over the last year, these are the precipitation departures from normal in inches. You can see where we did have some influence from the monsoon last year. Flagstaff near Prescott and then also parts of eastern Arizona seeing those precipitation totals above normal, but otherwise a lot of areas around us with well below average precip like the Grand Canyon, a couple inches below average. Also near Vegas, about three inches below average in the last year. That extends into California and also farther east into sections of New Mexico. So that just goes to show you that in, a, in an already dry climate, when you see precipitation departures from normal over a year of two, three, four inches, that's a very significant problem. And we do not expect that to end overnight. In fact, through the spring season, as I said, Precipitation is favored to be below average. Perhaps some relief in the monsoon season. Right now, the Climate Prediction Center is indicating a small area of above normal precipitation that forecasts from June, from June through August 2022. They will update this forecast again in a matter of weeks. But in the meantime, there's a chance that perhaps the monsoon could begin a bit earlier, which could give us some increased precipitation. We'll keep an eye on all of this and keep you updated on the drought situation across the Southwest. Here from the National Weather Service office in Phoenix.